Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Josh. And we are The Announcement, Announcement Guys. Guys. We want to take this opportunity to wish all of you a very happy Independence Day. Which you guys celebrated on Wednesday the 4th, and we just hope it was a great day. Actually, Josh, a little known fact, the 13 colonies declared independence from Great Britain on July 2nd of 1776, not the 4th. Right, but the 4th on 1776 was actually the day that Congress approved the Declaration of Independence, and then in 1941 it was made the federally observed holiday for Independence Day. Right, but the first celebration of Independence Day wasn't actually until July 8th of 1776 when the Declaration was read to the public. And thus, the first celebrated Independence Day was 236 years ago today. Well, yeah, but if you want to get that specific, then we have to do August 2nd as Independence Day because on August 2nd, 50 of the original 56 signers of the Declaration signed the document. Well, by those standards, we should wait until January because Thomas McKean, the last signer, did not sign until January of 1777. You are such a nerd. Well, you know all those other things, so so are you. High five? High five. <laughs> and now for your weekend update. The nursery has begun registering all children in attendance. Next time you drop your child off at the nursery, please take a couple minutes to fill out the registration card if you haven't already done so. We also ask that children be picked up promptly after service. Thank you for helping us keep our family support ministries running smoothly. For more details, please reference the letter found in your bulletin. The Champions for Christ Youth Rally is coming up quick. The balance of your registration fee is due Sunday, July 15th. If you aren't already registered but would like to go, there's still time. See Pastor Lonnie or Cindy Meister for more information. A weekly Tuesday morning prayer group just for men will be launching on July 17th from 6.45 until 7.30 a.m. Have you ever wondered why we believe what we believe? Come study out biblical answers at the Christian Foundations class on Tuesday evenings from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. beginning July 17th. In this class, we will discuss many topics ranging from salvation and water baptism to the laying on of hands and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Remember that wherever you are in your walk with God, it's always good to shore up your foundation. Show your support for the Churches of Spencer by joining us as we pray for each of the senior pastors in our community. A schedule listing all of the pastors can be found in your bulletin. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Ali Meister, Katie Whitrock, and Mary DeBoer, all of whom are celebrating their birthdays this week. And now for your weekly lineup. Tonight at 6 p.m., all members of the Untitled Drama Team will be meeting here in the auditorium. Monday morning at 11 a.m., a Bible study will be happening in the Fellowship Hall. 6.30 p.m. on Monday is Intercessory Prayer right here in the auditorium. Wednesday night at 7 p.m., all junior high and high school students are invited to attend G3 Youth Group. 8 o'clock a.m. is Men's Group here in the Fellowship Hall on Saturday morning, followed by Club Armadillo at 10.30 a.m. Join us next week on Sunday at 8.30 a.m. sharp for corporate prayer, followed by service at 9.30 a.m. In this segment of Not Without You, one of the many ministries that Living Word supports is Reinhard Bonnke's ministry, Christ for All Nations. This ministry has been seeing some amazing victories for the kingdom. In a recent letter, he states... We have just completed a massive soul-winning campaign in the capital city of Kampala, Uganda. Words cannot begin to describe all that God did during those five dramatic days and nights, so we've enclosed a picture for you to see. The exact count isn't completed, but it's safe to say that hundreds upon thousands made a personal decision to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, and you helped make this all happen. Thank you. It is because of your faithful giving that we are able to support this ministry and many others like it. This is just one of the ways that Living Word is touching our world with the love of Jesus Christ, but not without you. I could ever separate us, Lord.